In this video, we're gonna talk about cinema robots with Mark Roberts, motion control. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible, Blackmagic and Atomos. And now, back to the video. All right, what's up? I'm here with Gary from MRMC. Uh, and so you're gonna demo how easy it is to set up the positioning of uh, the motion control robot. Yeah, so this is our Cinebot Mini, and I'm gonna be demonstrating our Push Moco. So what this is translating as is the ability to handhold the camera itself and move it into a position. So what we're gonna do here is start and actually film Joey. So let's stay up here. This is our first keyframe. We're gonna use this keypad here where we're gonna actually select it and save this point in our software, which we'll look at in a minute. Now we're gonna add a line and I'm gonna now move it into our second position. So I wanna bring this arm down and our track and reframe the subjects. Once I've done that, I can save that position. So now we have a two keyframe move effectively. If we wanna add another one, we just need to add a line and then position the camera again. Say we wanna come across and come up. And we're gonna save this. So that's all three keyframes now put in. So what we're gonna do is walk over to the software and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So this is our software flare. Now, as you can see, we have multiple different windows available from numerical, graphical, through the lens, as well as the rig model. What we've just inputted is a three point move and you can see that translated here. So what I'm going to do now is just simply run that move back. So we click backward run. And you can see from the rig model, if you turn around now, going to run that move as we put it from each point. And so now in comparison, how, uh, if you're normally running or programming a cinema robot, what's that process normally like? Sure. So we have various different ways you can input a move. That can be done through a USB interface. So if you wanted to use a game controller, uh, let's say you wanted to use an app, you can actually use your phone and you can then create a path in space. Uh, with your phone and then have it replicate in the, with Correct. the robot, that's very cool. Yeah, so if, let's say you wanted to come around a bottle, you could then use the phone to create the path and then we could export that information and then the robot would be able to deliver that. Okay, very cool. Or you can obviously use the software. So this has many, many years of legacy and development and experience, you know, input. So it can be as simple or as complex as you need it to be. So one feature that I can actually show you Let's say this middle keyframe, right? So we know that frame is here. So what I can do is actually drag the, the arm to that frame. So now let's say I'm actually not happy with where this is lined up. So I can manipulate that by switching on to push moco. And what I actually want is I want it to come down, down here. So you're modifying that keyframe, but the other ones stay the same. So once I've now saved that, it's adjusted this keyframe into that space. So now my move is in fact coming down. So let's say I actually want to run the book, move backwards. So now it's going to run through that waypoint that we just added and go back to the start. All right, and so uh, we've got the two different options. So tell me yes. kind of what the two Cinebots uh, sure. options that we got going on here. Absolutely, so the Cinebot Mini, is our lightest payload, our lightest capacity, is its easy, most transportable system. And then we have its bigger brother, which is the CityBot Max. So what we're taking on here for PushMoco is being translated into a bigger package. So everything you just showed us here, we could do it here. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, but what are some of the, what are, what are some of the differences that this can do, payload and other things? So the advantage is an increased payload as well as an increased reach, but ultimately you still have that usability of grabbing and PushMoco. All right, great. Well, thanks so much, Gary. No problem. Great and that is it for this episode. Be sure to check out the rest of our NAB coverage over here at this playlist and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next episode.